Hi, my name is Greg. Uh, last time I asked you to ask some questions about our devices and we get some. So uh, today uh, we decided to answer uh, the basic questions like uh, what probes to use in a small animal clinic and how to adjust the device. And later on we will ask, answer the question about uh, uh, the repro scanning. In a, uh, in a dogs. Uh, as for uh, adjustments of the ultrasound scanner, right here we are uh, performing the ultrasound examination of a dog. Uh, she's a female and here for example we are at the level of the urinary bladder uh, first what we adjust is uh, the gain, gain 1 and gain 2, so uh, the gain 1 is making uh, brighter or darker the whole screen in ultrasound and gain 2 is the uh, far field gain, so it makes brighter only the far field in, in the ultrasound image. So here, for example, I would like to assess the urinary bladder and uh, I decreased again a little bit. Okay. And now, for example, when I want to see something uh, below urinary uh, bladder, I should adjust the depth of scanning. So I increase the depth of scanning and here I'm looking for the uterus it's here on the image it's hypoechoic structure okay what is important when I'm uh, focusing on some region here is to remember to put the focus level on the level of the structure that I'm looking at so right now we are adjusting the focus, you can do it by hand uh, or uh, pushing the buttons and once again we are watching the uterus here, I will increase the gain a little bit, here we have this structure on the longitudinal section under the urinary bladder. And if you would like to get the most, uh, the, the, the best image quality, we should remember to adjust the frequency and remember about uh, the rule that the, the highest the frequency, uh, the better uh, resolution, and the lowest the frequency, the resolution is decreasing a little bit. So as we are able to, to reach the, uh, the structure with the high frequency, we should keep it the highest possible. And in Forward Slim, the basic settings we can adjust by uh, moving the finger in the active field. So this is how I change the uh, focus position. This is how I change the gain one. And here I can change gain 2. On the right side of the screen I'm changing the uh, depth of scanning. Okay, right now I will show you how to measure some structures on ultrasound image. For example, we can measure the wall of the urinary bladder. Here we can see the very thin two hyperechoic layers of the urinary bladder wall. Oh, right now she's dancing. If I want to measure something very small, I just press and hold the finger on the screen. And this is it, this is 1.5 millimeters, so very good. Let's go for the kidney.
so again we should do uh, same things that we did with the urinary bladder so we should uh, remember about adjusting the brightness of the screen so we can see the kidney appearing here we should remember about focus about the frequency and the depth of scanning and right now the kidney is about two-thirds of the window of the ultrasound scanner so we can see the structure of the kidney and we can see what is around this is the cross section if we would like to change uh, the gray map so make it a little bit softer we can use the gamma setting and now the image is a little bit more grayish if we would like to add some contrast as well we can do the same with the gamma setting and then increase or decrease the gains okay it looks nice To save the image with the measurement, we just tap freeze, measure and then save image. We can put here some details of our patient and that's it. You also asked me about which probes to use in the small animal clinic. The standard probe is microconvex and uh, I think that about 80% of uh, your patients can be examined with this probe but if you want to see some more details in the near field or we have a lot of uh, small patients like Yorkshire Terriers or cats uh, we should think about uh, having an abdominal linear probe higher frequency this one is 10 megahertz so I will show you how it looks uh, how the image looks like from this probe okay when you change the probes it should be recognized automatically and that's it it's here so you can easily see that the image is a little bit bigger but here what we can see is uh, just uh, six centimeters and here we can see the details of the wall of the small intestine so we can see the lumen uh, and all the other layers of the wall this probe is basically used for the smaller smaller animals here is the kidney that we uh, we uh, watched before and this is the maximum depth of what we can get but the details of the kidney are uh, better visualized on the image right now and let's go for the uterus And here we can see also the uterus and its structure. Yep, here. And this is it. If you have any more questions, just feel free to ask. Thank you.